Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am the creator of a series of books, sessions, and webinars to help you with your new light body. So you have a brand new light body for the new earth. That's the topic of this video. Now, years ago when I first started my channel, the very first topic was that you have a body in your body. You have an etheric body that is connected to you. Now, a lot has happened over the years since then. You are actively in a part of evolution, and you're a part of it. You're a participant. You're either an active participant or sometimes a passive participant, but you're here to be in this. There's a lot to learn about this, but the best things that you'll discover is how light and lovely this feels. Now, a lot of people are missing out on this, which is the actual lightness of their being, the actual ability to feel good every day, your ability to feel light. Um, like hard, this means lighthearted, not dragged down, feeling as though you'll be able to get through things, accomplish things, let go of depression, let go of other negative things such as suicidal thoughts and feelings and really move along. Now, some people require help and assistance with this. Some people need continuous coaching and encouragement. But all the ingredients are there. And what that means is that it's already in you. So to belie some of the con concepts out there, this is not a concept. This is actually something very real that is happening. It's been expected. Ancient cultures talked about it, taught about it, um, expected it, taught other people to expect certain things. And it's here. Now, when I say it's here, what does that mean? It's here. What this means is that the body itself, your body and the body of your other half are the ones that are connecting. There are two of you because you have been twinned. You've been twinned in a higher level than this. And yet you've interacted with other people. And that's where the confusion comes in sometimes because sometimes you're interacting with the same people the same old people, and they can feel like that. They can feel like these are the same old people. These are just soulmates. These are the same old people that got me into trouble before. Or these are the same patterns that, you know, led to, you know, things that just weren't desirable. What you need to know is that your new light body is actually a completely brand new different structure. What that means is, for example, your new earth connection, which is usually here right about the level of the gallbladder on the right side. And this is where some people feel a tugging, you know, they'll feel that they feel a pull. They feel uh, sometimes the negativity of what's happened here in terms of battles. And they may not have a context for it. Some people even get an inflammation so bad they have to have it removed. But the connection why is it being removed? It's because <coughs> unplug the old, plug it in new. This is actually traveling here to here. There's a new location for everything. And that is not something that is readily understood out there, partly because, number one, there's only so many people awake to this. Number two, there's only so many people activated. And number three, there's people that are intended to be in different sectors of the world so that some people do teach about this and some people work on other things that they're supposed to do whatever they feel the calling is for them. Now, I'm a person who has started to get this information very early on. In fact, my own personal, I would say probably one of the earliest awakenings I ever had, I was two years old. I, clear, I remember it distinctly and clearly. The main thing that stuck with me was I felt as though I was from some place. I was here, and I knew that, but he recalled being from some place. Now, what that place was, 
wasn't quite sure as a two-year-old, but it's it was such a distinctive feeling, emotion, awareness that that has persisted throughout my life. I'm here from somewhere. It wasn't until the pieces of the puzzle started to come together years later that I was able to connect the dots on what some of this is. And that's how it is for some of you. You've had little bits of your new light body, little bits of the two of you. And the reason is, is you have been twinned. So what is that twin process? It's making two equal halves of the same whole that is actually whole. But this has happened in the old paradigm. You're not in an old paradigm anymore. A paradigm means a structure for learning a lesson. Lessons have been learned. Lessons have been taught. And whatever you've needed to know, you know. And in a way, the good news with that is you get to be done repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. And we all do. Okay? We will still see a lot of it play out. Now, what else is an entirely new thing with this? It is that you live within each other. And it has been this way on purpose because this provides what is actually true accountability and love. You account for each other. You care for each other. You're responsive to each other rather than reactive. And this is how love is supposed to be. Love is accountable. Unconditional love means that you take your accountability to the next level. And you're proactive about it. You may not know with your head exactly what to do. But this is the beauty part of integrating your new light body and getting clear of the past is because your body can give you the prompts. Your body needs to incorporate elements. Your body needs to reconnect to a cosmic level. These are all the things that I help people with. So while you're busy, you know, reintegrating yourself here at the physical level in your human life, and maybe finding yourself or maybe overcoming an illness, or disease of some kind, particularly spiritual illnesses. Spiritual illnesses are in the spotlight on purpose because of this accountability. Because too many people won't have quick reactions if they are messed up with some kind of a substance or a situation or both. If someone is self-medicating, and even with certain medications. Your new light body wants to be entirely healthy and well. And while there are times you may genuinely need something, it will also let you know when you no longer need it. When something is no longer serving a purpose. So when it comes to each other, this living within each other is something that is specific for those people who are now integrating the new template. Okay, what does a new template mean? It means there is an absolutely new architecture, a new blueprint. Now, you might see that out there all over the place. Hey, there's a new blueprint. Hey, the uh, crystals, the DNA, the DNA activations, the... Um, psychedelic geometry, the sacred geometry, however you term it, it's still a part of your light body. You are the one that is the light and the love. The light is created by the love. The love puts it into form. The love transforms the forms. So you see, you are actually very important, more than you may realize. You live within each other so that only you feel each other and you learn each other by going within so if you've been looking outside 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 trying to figure it out that's not the place to go you not only have to go within and go within to your heart you have to become enveloped in your love 
so that you're only in the place where there's only you two, okay? Whoever you are, you have to be the one to do this. That's hard to do in 3D Earth, okay? These connections that you have in the sacral area, along the solar plexus, they want to move away from an entirely out of the old paradigm. And they will push you hard because that is when your higher self takes over. The love that you are really doesn't want to tolerate any more of the old crud, old patterns, ancestral illnesses and diseases, particularly those that run in families. Ancestry plays a part because it's how you incarnated here. You came in to exactly the karmic situation that you either ended with in your last life, you came in to reverse and retract the karma, release it, and you also came in to receive. Now, officially, can we plan, because this is all a part of a grand master plan, to end karma? Officially, that time frame was around 2010. So there's been an extensive grace period, and for the past four years, that period has been to actually integrate. Integrate little strings, set it up, align, what people call cosmic alignments, or whenever the planets just start lining up. And yet it still throws people off that their alignments are up here and no longer down here in the old levels in the old paradigm. People will still pursue the things that they thought had worked for them at some point. So what does your twin flame body require? It requires entirely new approaches. And that's what throws people off. And I've had a lot of people spin their wheels with other things. And it's not that, you know, it's not trying to help. There's a lot of good intentions out there, but there's just not awareness in the secular community about owning a brand new light body. There's just not. There is a little bit of help that can be found. However, the brand new light body requires twin flame help, twin flame specific help for it. What does the new twin flame body require? Well, at times you require stillness. Sometimes you require activity, not too much activity. And activity can be defined as um, the things you like to do, but it can be your daily activities, your day in and day out grind, your routine, or the new routine that you're getting into. There is actually a new routine to your activity level. If you're overdoing it, you're going to feel overwhelmed. If you're underdoing it, you're going to feel blah, bored, and somehow underwhelmed. So there's a balance there. Everything is about balance. Everything is about uh, nurturing your burgeoning light body and nurturing each other because there are two of you, whether you like it or not. Now, years ago, there was a lot of talk of, you know, are, are twin flames a real thing? Yes, they are. How do you know? Well, you know because a lot of times you just feel it. You just feel like I'm a twin flame. That's how it was for me. I actually had an ex say the words to me and actually held up an article. And, and the article was sort of like, hey, do you know what a twin flame is? <laughs> and it was kind of absurd how it was. And it was like something in me just like a bell went off. As soon as I heard those words, I was like, that's the answer. What it was the answer to? I couldn't even tell you in that moment. But somehow something went tick, and it just somehow clicked. And then that became sort of the driving force in a way. Suddenly I was keeper of the flame. But you're all a keeper of the flame. You're all the ones with the little pilot light on the inside and the ambassadors of the light and love. So no matter how this information comes to you or your true other half, you know, if they find it out there on um, galactic websites or uh, 
EF, uh, T websites or astrology websites, okay, that is actually very common that one of you feels the very cosmic level of things. I myself have always been drawn to astronomy, which is the study and the movement of the actual stars and constellations and the math that goes with it. You know, calculating things, calculating degrees of things. And, you know, the enjoyment of looking through a telescope and just seeing, you know, different cosmic events as viewed from Earth level. And yet some of you remember, some of you don't remember a thing. Why don't you remember? It's not your fault. You don't remember because it's a part of the old paradigm where some damage happened. And that damage has been here. It's been here. It's been here. It's been in a lot of places that do affect your body. In fact, it accounts for certain birth defects. That is something that I've discovered in my 12 years of doing this on this side is the root causes of certain things need to be removed from another level. That is what I specialize in. The issues that we would call psychological, physical, okay? When it gets down into the physical body, there's a really deep reason for it. And it's not always because someone has neglected themselves or have something happen in the ancestry. 90% of the time it's been something in the ancestry barring any physical accidents and injuries. So how does one heal from these things? Okay, well, straight up, some of it is not going to be corrected in this lifetime for people with certain things. It's just not here yet. However, for many chronic conditions, such as fibromyalgia, diabetes, pre-diabetes, um, injuries up here or um, head, you know, like bumping your head and uh, bumping it too hard, things that affect your neural structure, Yes, that is a part of what healing is something I'm capable of assisting with. Some people are in the right place now to be able to address that. Childhood injuries, falls, things where you may have hit yourself too hard and didn't realize till later how much it really affected you or how it's affecting your balance or your perceptions. And some of it is birth trauma. Some of it has to do with what runs in your family. Oh, Patricia, nobody runs in my family. Well, some of you are having things run right out of your genetics and it needs to go. And it's important that you focus where you need to focus. The other things that you need, sleep. Quite a bit of sleep because this is where you will be making many of your new connections. Some people don't get sufficient sleep, but sometimes you can only get it properly when you go to sleep. Why? Because there's no requirement for your physical human body. Your light body is what is required to lift up. What else happens? What do you require? Well, at times you're required to go into hermit mode. That's what I call it, hermit mode. Hermit mode on the way to enlightenment. But it doesn't mean that you're spending seven years in Tibet, nor does it mean you're spending two to three hours in meditation, nor becoming ultra, 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 highly, whatever, depriving yourself. Hermit mode means that you are quite simply isolating yourself or feeling isolated. And that gets very lonely for people. They say, why do I have to be by myself? I don't want to be by myself. I want to be with someone. Some part of me knows I'm here to be with someone. Yes, of course. But unless you ditch everyone else's energy, and sometimes that's the only way to do it is you get isolated. Then you can also go into social mode. It's time to re-engage. Re-engage with the world. Bring your light and love out into the world Re-engage, 
Some people are not at that point, and some people are. Some people, like me, have already been through it. I'm ready to reach out. I'm ready to do what I came here to do. And some people aren't. So that's another misconcept that everyone's going along at the same pace. You're not. You're going at the pace that you and your twin flame can actually go at. If your twin flame is messing up out there and slipping and, you know, slipping and tripping through some of this, you're going to feel it at some point because it's going to feel like you're dragging someone. And you're not here to really drag them. You're not here to get pulled back into another level. You're here to help them detach it. That is why I do the sessions that I do so that whatever is laying here, whatever is laying here, whatever is laying here, whatever is laying here that causes anxiety, panics, nervousness, anger issues, we get it moving so that you can function. The main thing is that one of you has to at least be able to function properly so that you keep going. And sometimes it's as basic as that. I want my life. I need a life. I need to do this or that. That's not needy. That's appropriate. Function. Functionality. And then comes all the rest of the gravy that goes with it. The enjoyment. The higher level experiences. Which brings me to my third point. Proper etheric touch from your 5D selves. Otherwise, you flounder. And this is when people fall into a depressive state. If you're not focusing on connecting properly and getting yourself still enough to do so, you're going to get lost in this. I don't like to see people get lost. I like to see people that are learning, feeling, having some really high level experiences and really feeling again what this is all about. Because people get lost in that also. They initially feel some love and then somehow it becomes whatever the mind can't understand. They say, maybe I was just supposed to, I don't know, be on a mission. Uh, maybe I was just supposed to have that and that's for another life. Maybe I was just supposed to, um, and they get lost in it, okay? Decide right now that there's no other lives. This is your culmination life. This is your life for integrating the template of your new life body and utilizing your twin flame body connections from your true 5D because you are beings that are from up here, okay? You're from up here in 5D coming in and having a human experience. But that human experience can many times be lacking as well. It can feel unfulfilling. It can feel as though you're spinning your wheels. It can leave you in a somewhat depressive state. And that too throws people off. They will say, well, I don't want this body. I don't want this meat or this carnal part of myself. I want, I want to be spiritual. Well, let me tell you something. If you could sprout your wings right now, would you fly away? Of course you would. You'd fly away from a lot of situations. But that involves a part of you that is very important part of the template and your twin flame body. So this is why I say it requires new approaches because getting those parts of you up, operating, expanding, opening, and pushing away very naturally the things that just don't serve you. Anything that doesn't serve you, your body will want to get it out like a foreign object. And there are other things that you need to know about. I cover a lot in uh, my first book. So I have two ways of helping you here. I will have ongoing classes, but I highly recommend that you have a causal body session where we do address those parts of you so that you can get your twin flame body integrating, helping you to integrate the new template. I also have my book. This book, first book, is on Amazon. And the link is going to be below. And you can uh, review that because that has information in their beginning base information for your subtle body connections. There's at least five, but you start with the first one. And 
there is a main one. So it's like saying, well, your heart and your lungs are right next to each other. They each have a separate function, but they also have to work very harmoniously together. They have to operate together. Now take that times two, where there's two of you. You're so fun, they had to pour you into two bodies, but you've got each got your body, okay? There are two of you because you have already been twinned. You're also having to be accountable. What if your twin is allergic to something? Will you feel it? What if your twin is drinking? Will you feel it? How do you get to not feeling that anymore? That is through actually learning how to do this. And so when you have a session with me, you get other support material. I record. You get the recording. You get to practice. And I do make recommendations. I take notes on every session. And I take it very seriously. I, I work very hard to keep myself clear and yet to keep it very concise because you're here to be in love. You're here to be in love and sometimes love needs to be simple. And this isn't hard stuff, it's just new. It's so new that it takes a little bit to get focused on it, but I highly suggest that when you want what you came here for, that you get yourself in the mode of getting away from distractions, learning just a little bit, feeling, and feeling love again flow through your body. Feel your heart energy light you up. This is what naturally dissipates whatever doesn't belong. Anger, inner child issues, childhood injuries, ancestral things, DNA glitches, whatever it is. Your light body, and especially the higher part of you, your twin flame body, helps compensate for whatever might be a shortcoming, for whatever might be that thing that you feel is somehow blocking you, obstructing, right between you and the person that truly loves you, that that person is never leaving because they live inside you. You're the one in charge and you are a part of divine creation. You are participating in this and you're also a pioneer. You've had part of you wake up with the intention that you be some of the front runners. And no matter how it comes to you you can be rest assured that as your heart calls to your other half, wherever they are, hello, 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 you'll begin to feel your other inside you responding and feeling. Feeling is so important. So you're here to be in love, reach out, and even better, Join my course in learning how to become a Twin Flame Body Practitioner because there will be a need for people who are truly fifth dimensional and beyond level healers to help those people that will wake up next year. It's going to happen. It's been a very large impetus here. And especially when we look around and we say, are they awake? Are they awake? You're going to see family and friends, people around you, begin to have their ascension symptoms. Sometimes you're already seeing it. People at work, people around you, the kids, and a part of you is going to say, I think they're a twin flame. Well, of course they are. Why? They too are getting out of the old paradigm. They too have someone that belongs to them. And they, too, are here for the new light body. So thanks so much for watching. The links are below. Reach out to me with any questions. And my website, I have two websites, Twin Flame Body and TwinFlamesMerge.com. And you can email me at TwinFlamesMerge at gmail.com. My program with my course is what I call Learn and Earn. I have a program for that. So join and you'll be glad that you did. It's been a great learning thing. Tool, 
for creating yourself, reinventing the career and the calling of your heart. To use your love to help others who maybe can't help themselves and to not have their stuff cling to you. That's what love does. That is unconditional love and that is higher love. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Reach out to me. Bye.